Greetings! I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today I'm going to demonstrate my new dry brush. To be fair, it isn't really marketed as a dry brush. It's a makeup brush. A contour brush to be precise. It has a nice domed shape, and the bristles are dense and fairly firm, but still quite nice and soft. I never would have thought to use something like this, but I've seen videos by Terry Latorico, if that's how you pronounce her last name, where she uses similar brushes in her painting and gets very good results. She recommends the ELF Contour Brush, and I did try to find one, but they seem to be sold out every time I try to find them. Which is a bit annoying. I was able to find this though. It's the BYS Fine Feature Contour Brush. It says it right there on the side. And I figured, why not try this brush? It looks very similar, and I hope it behaves in a similar way. If I do eventually find the ELF version, I might try that one out and see if it makes a difference. At any rate, neither brush is very expensive. As I often do, I'm experimenting on my Airfix Bismarck hull, and I've applied some fresh primer over previous experiments. First, I decided to try with Model Air Light Grey. I figured it would make the results easily visible, though very thin paints like this aren't the best for dry brushing. I figured I might try it anyway. Why not? I wipe most of the paint off the brush, and attempt to dry brush as normal. First try it seems that I didn't remove as much of the paint from the brush as I should have, so it goes on pretty heavily, and not so much dry brushed, more like regular brushed. This brush seems to hold paint fairly well, and it did apply the paint fairly nicely, just not how I wanted it to go on. I made sure to remove more of the paint and tried again. This is much more like dry brushing should be. I think the result here is pretty decent. The patch to the right fades out quite nicely. It's almost like an airbrushed effect. I've also hit the edges on the turret mount in the centre pretty nicely. Let's give it a try with a thicker paint, one more suited to dry brushing. This time I'm using Vallejo model colour buff. There's not really a lot to say about how I'm brushing it on. It's just a regular dry brushing technique. If you only want a tiny hint of colour, brush over the spot you want to hit once or twice. For more colour, keep going. As with most dry brushing, I'm mostly hitting edges and raised parts. Pretty simple. Where I feel like this brush works especially well is the areas around the edge. You can create a sort of blend, where the colour kind of fades in, almost like it's been airbrushed. Not quiet, but it is close, and much cheaper if you're after that kind of effect and don't have an airbrush. You can of course use this on flattish surfaces like down here on the side of the hull. It's fairly rough, but it's another way to paint what might be a spill down the side of the hull, or maybe this could even represent light being reflected off the surface, like object source lighting or something. It's interesting either way. You can do this with a shitty old dry brush like I use in a lot of my previous videos, and you could probably get a very similar effect, but this brush makes it very quick and easy, and the result is pretty smooth. The part along the side of the hull where it bulges out looks to me like it's been highlighted very nicely. The brush is pretty big, but you can still do some fine work with it. I think that's mostly owing to its domed shape. You can see I've hit some of the edges and the chain here pretty neatly. There's not too much on the surrounding areas, so you can do some fine work with this, though I'd imagine you would have some trouble doing so in confined places. Still, the brush does seem to work really nicely for its unintended new purpose, and this example is pretty much the first time I've used it. I think with a little more practice with it I could get even nicer results. So if you do need to do some dry brushing, I would suggest trying a brush like this. It was pretty cheap. You'll be seeing this brush in future painting videos for sure. I rather like it. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. And of course, if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on social media, and watch me live stream on Twitch. And if you really like the things I do, please consider helping to support the channel over at Patreon. Links to all of those things are in the description below. As always, I shall return soon. So until then, keep being awesome, happy modelling, and thanks for watching. Farewell.